Hi guys and welcome back to another video here with Crafty Mama. Um, what I'm going to show you guys today is um, how to do mock-ups. I've actually gotten a lot of requests um, for this video on how I do my mock-ups. Um, so I'm going to show you quite a few mock-ups today, um, like hmm, maybe seven or eight of them. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Please, before we get started, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, if you hit the bell, you get notified every single time that I up upload a video. Um, right now I am uploading somewhere between one to two times a week. I'm trying to do two times a week, but, um, last week got a little busy. Um, so I only did one, but I do upload between one to two times a week and we are just strictly in Canva um, doing um, all types of designs in Canva right now. Um, but if you have any requests for any types of videos, do not hesitate to let me know and I'll try to get that out for you guys. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to add a new page. So the first thing you want to do is kind of create your background. Um, this is one of my brand colors. So this one is kind of one that I always tend to stick with. And then I just, um, I throw an element kind of on top of it and then make it transparent. Um, I really like the rose theme. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick with that. This one is available in the pro. Um, so if you have, sorry, this is on my screen. Um, this background is available on the Pro, so if you have Canva Pro, you can get that in the Canva Pro. If not, you would just have to use one of the free um, elements or upload your own background. That's always an option, too. Okay. There's my background. Pretty simple, pretty clean, and um, easy to do. So the first um, mock-up we're going to do is the computer mock-up. Now... Um, for the picture for your computer, for your computer mock-up, to get the picture that you're going to input into that mock-up, you should screenshot it from your computer. Um, there's a computer view, like when you're looking at websites, there's a computer view and there's a mobile view. Um, and the best image to uh, drop onto the computer mock-up is going to be a screenshot from your computer. Okay, so you would just go, I'm, I'm using a Windows computer. There's a button called uh, print screen. It's up at the top by F12. You would just go to the page that you want. You hit print screen and it's going to take your snapshot for you. Um, if you're on a Mac, I'm not sure how to screenshot on a Mac, but you would just screenshot your computer to get your image and make sure you do it on the computer and not the phone. All right, then we're gonna go to frames and right here, it's in the free version, is your computer. And it's a frame. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna add that to your canvas. You're gonna go to your uploads and then you're gonna get your screenshot. So this is a screenshot of my Etsy shop that I took on my computer. I just went to Etsy.com, went to my shop, and then I screenshotted it. And then you're just going to click, drag, and drop. And that's it. And then we're going to do a cell phone next, which is here in Canva under the frames. This is also available on the free version. Same thing. To get your image for your phone, you want to go on your phone and take the screenshot, get the mobile view screenshot. Because if I try to, this is my computer screen screenshot. If I try to drag this onto my phone, it's not going to fit properly. It's going to look crazy because that's not mobile view. Okay. Same with this. If this, this is my phone screenshot. If I try to drag and drop here onto the computer, it's not going to look right because it's not the computer view, okay? So you wanna make sure you're screenshotting on the device you're trying to make the mock-up for, if that makes sense, okay? And this is just a picture of my website. I went on my mobile view and I screenshotted it and we're gonna drag and just drop it right onto the phone. 
Okay, and then you're going to layer it, make it look all pretty. Um, sometimes I add my website down here or, you know, along the side here so people know where to go. Okay, that's how you do the computer and the phone. Now, they also have um, a laptop here you could do. Same thing, you want to use the computer um, photo for the laptop. Okay, and they also have, I don't really use this one. This is an iPad. Um, I don't really use that. Um, and they also have some books here. Again, I don't really use these books. This looks like a textbook. Um, I don't really use that one, but they are options. And they're all available on the free version. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is um, a shirt in Canva. And you're just going to come up to here in your search bar and you're gonna type in a t-shirt. Okay, and then you're just gonna scroll down until you find one. The ones I typically use are farther down and they might be only available in the pro version if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so here's like a, a long sleeve white one. Let's keep looking. There's one. You know, obviously I like to use the shirts that look more realistic. Um, here's a black one. There was a white one. I'm not sure where it went. This one has a collar on it. My husband wears those kinds of shirts all the time. Oh, here's the white one. Okay. So here's some um, shirts. This is, this is just one way to do the shirts. I'm going to show you two ways. This is way number one to do your shirt. Um, so you would just come in Canva. And then these ones are only available in pro. These shirts, the, the um, cartoony looking pictures um, of the shirts, those are the free ones. This one is available in pro. Um, and then let's say you want to put your logo onto it. So you're gonna add your logo and you're gonna remove the background or you can upload a transparent logo. And there it is. And then you're just going to add it onto your shirt. And you can do this with any design. So you can you can design a t-shirt, like a design in um in Canva, save it as a transparent image, and then re-upload it to Canva and put it on a shirt. Okay, and then you're just going to select both of these and group. And now you have one image. There is your shirt. Okay. And then same with the, the black shirt. You would just remove your background uh, or upload your... Um, your image with a transparent background, either way. And then you're going to select both of them and group them. Okay, and now you have another mock-up. Okay, so this is one way to do shirt mock-ups. Um, we did the computer, the phone, the laptop. These are the shirts. And now I'm going to show you um, another way to do 
I sometimes do it like this. If I'm just doing like a logo shirt, I'll do it like this. But if I'm doing an actual design, then I use Place It. It's called placeit.net. It's right here on my home screen. There's the website, or here it is, placeit.net. Um, now, this uh, does cost, I'm not sure how much it costs a month. It has to be somewhere between 8 and $11, I want to say. I'm not for sure. I can't remember. Um, or you can purchase it by design. It's like $8 per design, or it's like $10 a month, something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. <laughs> And then you can pretty much use anything. So this is what I use for my journal covers. Just go into your search bar, you type journal. And then let me see if I can find a popular one. I know a lot of people use this one. Um, I like these ones, the ones that are just kind of single, so you can just see more of the, the notebook. Let's do this one. You can do a couple different covers on this one. So you're just gonna choose your mock-up image. just waiting for it to pop up there we go then you're going to input your pictures so we're going to upload an image here and you know what i don't think i have journal images on here Okay, I'm back. I had to go download some journal images. I don't, I didn't have any on this computer. Um, but you're just going to go wherever you save your images. And you're going to get um, a journal cover. You're going to crop it to the size. Now, you, you can save it in Canva. It tells you right here how many pixels. So when you're making your mock-ups, you can make it this size or you can just crop it. Um, eight, if you do eight and a half by 11, that's not 700 by a thousand pixels. Um, so if you're gonna create the, the image in the eight and a half by 11, when you bring it over here to do your mock-up, either you're just gonna have to crop it and then you see like how right here it, it doesn't fit. So when you do your mock-up, either it's gonna look like this or you'll just have to resize it to the 700 by 1000 pixels and then it'll fit perfectly. Um, but for the sake of the video, so it's not too long, I'm just gonna show you how to upload it. You're gonna get your second image. And you're gonna get your third image. Okay, now you have your three journals. You can change your background color to any color you want. Um, I tend to stick with the lighter colors like this. You can even add your logo if you want you just go to graphic sorry if i'm moving too fast you go to um graphic here you go to custom image and then you're going to upload your logo i don't think i have my logo on this computer either um, no i don't i don't have my logo image on here but you would just go to your files you would get your transparent logo and then you could just put it it would pop up like an image like this and then you know I kind of tend to put it in the corner or if you want you can put it across the whole thing so nobody can steal it you know the image however you want to do it it's up to you mm -hmm. 
and then um you would just download it here um and like i said i have the subscription so all of my downloads are free um if you don't want to pay for it monthly like if you just want to do a handful you know maybe one a month i think it's like eight dollars per download or something like that seven or eight dollars per picture um so it's up to you how you want to do it but um let me see if i can find another one more for you this one this is the one i was talking about this one's pretty popular in some of the um the craft groups that a lot of us are in um same thing you would just go to upload an image crop it to how you need it or you can upload it in the uh the 700 by 1000 pixels and it'll fit perfectly and then you can just change the colors of this so if you want everything to be the same color you can change the color of the floor the box the base ball everything okay that's how and like i said i know this one is pretty popular in the groups that we're in and everybody's asking how do you do it it's on uh placeit.net okay so that is how you do the um the journal covers now i'm going to show you the shirts and this is this is how i do my shirts in this one like i said if i'm doing like just a a logo shirt I'll do it in Canva, um, but most of the time I'm doing um, my my mock-ups for my shirts. I'm doing them in uh, Place It. Okay, so you're just gonna pick your shirt. Sorry, my computer is going very slow today. All right, there it is. And it tells you the pixels here, 750 by 1200. Um, I'll just go with this image for the sake of the video. Um, you're gonna crop it and you're gonna place it. Now you see how it's too low? You're just gonna go back up to the crop and then you're just gonna bring it up like that and see it'll bring it up for you and if you want it to be like super perfect and center just bring it all as close as you can get it and then bring it over a touch you would just have to play with it until it's centered as best as you can get it okay then you can go here and you can change your background color to anything you want Okay, that's how I do my shirts. And then I add my logo, you know, going across the bottom here. And they have, uh, you can change your shirt color too. You can change it to black, you can change it to pink. You can change it to, you know, any color you want. The shirt colors are up here. Okay, that's how you do your shirt. What else is on my list? We Let's see, we did shirts, journals, business cards. Same thing, you're gonna go up here. This is how um, I use, I do my business cards for the, the debit card style business card mock-up that I did. Um, I did it in um, Place It. Um, and you're just going to choose one here. Um, Let's go with this one. Okay. 
Mm. It doesn't look like I have any my business cards on here either. No, I don't. So I'm just going to pick something. Just pick a random image. Um, so we'll act like this is a business card. Okay, so you're just going to input it. You're going to crop it to the size. And then you're going to place it. Upload your second one. And your third one. Or, you know, or you can choose one that looks, um, that only has one or two. So maybe you can do front and back. Normally when I use this one, I'll do like the front of it right here in the middle. And then this one and this one will be the back of the card. Okay, and then you can change your background color. And then you can add your logo here or here, or you could even download this image and then upload it to Canva. And then you could put your website right here, or you can put it along the side, or you can upload your um, your logo in Canva. So you could download this and then upload this picture, this whole picture into Canva and add your website. You could add it up here or over here or whatever. Uh, okay. So that's how I do my business cards. And then the last one is the, um, the flyers. Um, no, that's not the flyers that I want. Let's take out with graphics and just look up flyers. Okay. This one's one of my favorites. I think I uploaded this one into one of the groups as well. You're just going to upload your image. It's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. And you're going to crop it. Okay. And then you're going to add your second image. And you're going to change your color to whatever, whatever you want. You can make it transparent, too, if you wanted to. Um, this is the transparent background, so when you download it, it's going to download with the transparent background. And you add your logo, your website, whatever. But that's how I do all of my mock-ups. And this um, this website, placeit.net, if you do a lot of um, a lot of crafts that you're looking to sell or put on your website. I would definitely say you can put some of your finished work on your website, but definitely go with some of these mock-ups. I think they make everything look so clean. Like this one, see, I didn't even know they had this right here. I, I do hoodies for my sons all the time. I'm probably going to come back and use his image because um, that's cute, that hoodie. Um, but look, you know, for your cups. You can upload your, your images. I haven't gotten into mugs yet, but I plan on it. My mug press is on its way. Um, it's in the mail, but, you know, obviously it's delayed with everything going on. But you could, you know, design something in Canva and then put it on this mug and, you know, upload it. 
they have oh they just added these masks i didn't even know i didn't even know these masks were on here these must be new since the coronavirus started pillows like there is so much stuff on this website that you can use <clears throat> to um display your images it's it's crazy I definitely think it's worth, like I said, I think it's only maybe somewhere between $10 to $12 a month at the most, $12. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I think it is so worth it. Bags, <clears throat> like if you just have a design, but you don't necessarily want to make it yet, or you want it to look way more professional and you want to add your logo and all of that, you can just upload the design. Like there's been plenty of times where even leggings, look at this, leggings. Um, there's been plenty of times where, you know, I've just, I made a design and I didn't necessarily, look at the water bottles. I had a design, but I didn't necessarily feel like doing it because I hadn't sold it yet. Even these bomber jackets, I have a bomber jacket in the mail too on the way that I'm gonna do. So cute. Um. But yeah, you can just come on here and upload pretty much anything. So I definitely think it's worth the, the $12 if you um if you do a lot of uh like selling your crafts and you want to have it, you want to make everything have a more professional look to it. Um I definitely think it's worth it. Um but yeah, that that's how I do all of my um all of my mock-ups, guys. If you have any other questions or you want to see any other videos, definitely let me know. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, any other questions, like I said, drop a comment or inbox me on Facebook or anything. Let me know. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe. Until the next video, guys. Bye.